Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in the last video, we learned about uh, variable length function arguments. And in this video, we will talk about uh, magic functions. So these, to these two topics we started uh, when we uh, talked about uh, multiple inheritance where we need to use super uh, method instead of using class names to initialize the um, initialize various classes that we are trying to inherit, okay? So it is related uh, to uh, method resolution order that we will uh, learn in next video. But in this video, let us uh, try to understand magic function. So magic functions are also known as uh, dunder functions. So simply they are functions uh, that are uh, named with uh, double underscore and then a uh, function name and then double underscore. So magic functions are mainly used for operator loading that we will learn in this video. Also, we will see like uh, how they can be used to modify the object creation. Okay, when we try to call the construction of a class. So that's uh, what it uses like init function and new method. And uh, we can modify these to to uh, uh, to change the behavior of uh, uh, object creation of that particular class. Okay, and also we can make a class callable like when we try to simply call it as a function, it will run some particular method that is a call magic function. So we will learn these three uh, important topics related to magic function in this video. So let us dive in and uh, start with uh, operator overloading. Okay, so let us create a class string. So let us say class string and uh, let us inherit object and uh, let us define init method so and let us pass greeting okay and let us say self dot greet is equal to greet okay now let us create uh, greet is equal to a string hello okay now let us print it so print wait so let us run and see what happens you see it it prints like it doesn't print the actual string value it prints like uh, um the object okay so let us uh, add uh, the magic function that will uh, print that will help to print the actual string that the object contains so when we call the print function it automatically run this uh, represent magic method of a string class that's how we get the actual content from that object so let us print uh, let us uh, implement that so we can simply say uh, represent and simply return from here self dot greet okay now it will print the actual content so let us run and see it so you see so in general we can concatenate two strings using plus plus operator okay so uh, if we will try to uh, uh, use a plus operator uh, with the current uh, instance uh, it will throw an error because we haven't implemented a, a plus operator for this particular class okay so let us try to do that so let us say greet raj not fail okay so let us run and see what error it throws. So you see, it says unsupported operand type plus because uh, it doesn't have that uh, implementation. So let us implement it. So let us uh, implement it. Okay. And we can simply return self dot greet plus other. Other is nothing but here the name. So now if you will run it, it will simply concatenate greet plus uh, I added I space so that we will get a proper string and then it will concatenate Rajnath Patel with the greet. Okay. And then it will print hello Rajnath Patel. So let us run and see it. So you see. So this is simply like uh, we are doing uh, operator overloading here uh, simply using add function which is a magic function. Okay, let us now learn about the second topic, like how we can modify the object creation of any particular class. So let us create 
so let us create another class name it class object creator okay let us inherit object and uh, let us define in it and let us print like in it is called okay so that we will know if it is called also uh, so in general when we create an object of a class it runs two uh, methods one is init but before that it runs this uh, new method which actually creates the object for that particular class okay so let us define that as well so let us define new and simply we can print method new executed okay so let us create an object of this class and see what happens okay so let us say object is equal to object creator and let us run and see so you see so it runs new method but it doesn't run init method the reason is that uh, uh, when we create a new method so when we create a new object it runs a new magic function but it should return an object of that particular class or any other class and then init method is actually used to modify the new fresh object of that particular class okay so let us the uh, do that so let us return let us use super and let us call so it needs it it should return an object of this uh, class so cls is nothing but uh, an instance of this class and it will return it now it will uh, uh, return an object of class object creator and then it will try to uh, uh, call in it if it is trying to modify it like uh, if you want to put some um, uh, initial values or class variables in it or something like that okay so let us run and see it so now you see it uh, calls new method as well as it has called init method okay so this way uh, using new method new magic method you can uh, like modify the object creation itself like you can uh, create even a class of uh, another uh, uh, class not only uh, of this class type okay you try it out if you have some issue uh, let me know in the comment section i will explain a bit more okay ne next let us try to understand like how we can make an object callable okay so let us do that so let us create another class so let us call it number And let us inherit object and let us say init so let us define init method and let us uh, say num and let us say self dot num is equal to num and let us define a uh, call okay. and uh, let us call another uh, method forward okay and let us simply pass these two arguments and return and let us now implement forward method and let us call it with x and let us return x plus self dot number okay okay so let us create an instance of number class and see like how we can call it so let us say number is equal to number 10 okay and let us now call number 
let us print actually so let us say print number 20 so let us run and see it okay we corrected it now let us run and see it so you see so what is happening here is like uh, when we create an instance it calls this init method and then we when we um, use this object and uh, run it like a function call it calls this uh, um, magic function call and then internally it calls this forward method and then it runs this like x plus self dot num and that's what we get as output okay so in general uh, if you have uh, seen it like uh, in pytorch library when we uh, implement this forward method uh, this is what happens actually internally it implements this call method which actually enables it to create an object uh, which is callable okay so now you understand like uh, it is nothing some sort of magic that is happening it simply implements this uh, call method which enables it to be callable okay so i hope it is clear so in the next video we will understand like how this uh, mro works and also like how we can use uh, this super uh, method to create uh, um, to uh, create uh, object of uh, various parent classes instead of using the class names in uh, multiple uh, inheritance okay so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next